The first flight Amos and Gideon must get out on time is known as the Milk Run. It's a flight that we have that actually makes multiple stops to Cordova, Yakutat, continuing on places like Juneau, and further on to Wrangell, Petersburg, all the way down to Seattle. It's Alaska Airlines' version of a local commuter train, one plane making multiple stops along a regular route. Outside, it's 20 degrees below freezing, and two inches of snow fell overnight. The Milk Run 737 is showing the effects of a night out in the storm. Lead aircraft technician Tom Cook supervises the de-ice team. We have a lot of aircraft that remained overnight, and throughout the night they build up frost and snow. We have to accomplish a pre-departure ice check to verify if the wings require de-icing. It takes an expert eye, but it could save lives. Any deformation with the wing surface because of frost or ice can disturb the airflow over the wing, affecting its lifting performance. Right now, we found frozen contamination on the wing surface. Worst case scenario, you will have insufficient lift on takeoff, causing an overrun on the end of the runway. Just as dangerous is the snow on the aircraft's engines. We have this red line here. That's kind of the safety margin. Anywhere from here forward, the air from the engine could suck it in. So all this snow has a very high potential of being sucked into the engine. Even something as soft as snow could still cause potential damage to the fan blades or the engine itself. It's a chance they can't take. Their state-of-the-art quarter-million-dollar de-ice truck can take care of it, but it means another 15-minute delay. Aircraft 619, go ahead for de-ice. Roger, 619, here we go. The idea is to get the aircraft out on time because if the airplane's late on its first departure for the morning, it cascades throughout the whole day. Eben Fiorentino sprays the 1,300 square feet of wing with a special de-ice fluid. So today we're spraying type one polyethylene glycol fluid, the ice fluid. It's been heated to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. At $17 per gallon, pressurized through a nozzle at 200 pounds per square inch, just two minutes of spraying costs $1,000. But the cost of a plane crash would be incalculable. This one's gonna take a while, the whole thing is frosty. All right, let's go to the other side. Go on to the other side. Tom must carefully maneuver the 15-ton truck around the $100 million aircraft, while Eben controls the hydraulic arm around the fuselage. They must be close, but not too close. The airplanes are just made out of soft aluminum, so you know, our de-ice trucks can't touch the airplane anywhere. We're constantly talking to each other, letting each other know that the de-ice trucks clear the aircraft. Any kind of bump turns into a very expensive and delayed airplane. I guess we're all done. In these temperatures, ice will form again in less than 20 minutes. The clock is ticking to get the plane airborne. Aircraft 619 de-ice, your de-ice complete. Clear start engines, have a good flight. We just do the best. Have a good day. 259, runway 33, clear for takeoff. 33, clear for takeoff. Each plane costs $7,000 to de-ice. That's the third aircraft for the morning that we just finished de-icing on. And there's more than 30 flights leaving today. It's a little stressful right now with three airplanes pushing back all at the same time. 